When animating, it's really important to have the right ease. Check out our Ease Visualizer. It's going to allow you to preview all the eases inside of GSAP. So you can very quickly see how a Power 4 Ease has a much steeper curve than a Power 1 Ease. When reading an Ease graph, it's important to note that wherever the curve is steep, that means the animation will be happening quickly, and wherever it flattens out, that means there'll be a slow rate of change. So on the Power 4 Ease, watch how the ball starts really fast and then slows down and gets to a crawl towards the end. If you want an overview of all the eases, click on the ease type down here and you can see a graphical representation of each ease. Right now we have a power four, ease in, ease out. That means it'll go slow in the beginning, speed up, and then slow down at the end. I can change the way the ease is visualized by clicking on the type here and I can switch over to clock or box. I'm going to switch back to the graph view and show you how some of our eases, like our stepped ease, can be configured. I can change the amount of steps in my stepped ease. And in my slow-mo ease, I can change the linear ratio as well as the strength. Our slow-mo ease is really powerful as it combines three eases into one. Animations will start fast, go linear, and then speed up. So basically we have an ease out ease, a linear ease, and then an ease in ease. Play around with the different options. I'm sure you're going to find something you like. And when you found that perfect ease, you can just select this code and copy it and then paste it into your project.